What's up, folks? Already got y'all suited up. I was on the phone with my grandmother here, being a good grandson. And this is a little creek that runs on the road, and I just saw a pretty nice bass here. It looks like he's about two and a half, two and three quarter pounds, just sitting there. So I'm gonna try to drop a jig right in front of him, see if I can't catch that one. It's pretty cool seeing them in this little swift water. It's like six inches deep, but there's a fish that's gotta be over two pounds sitting right down there in this current break. I mean, I can see him very, very well. I'm gonna try to drop a jig in front of him, see if I can't catch him, then I'll catch up with y'all. All right, guys, he's sitting right here on this corner. I'm gonna try to get over here and hop this jig in front of him. Look at him. Okay, he's skinny, but he's long. First cast, he came over and ate that thing. Look at the frame on that fish. If that fish was fat, he'd be huge. He'd be a three and a quarter. So he's probably two and a half, maybe. But look at that mouth, that bone right there. You can tell it's a big male. Hope y'all can see him well. Look at that sucker. First cast, I was just hopping it along. He came over, here, grabbed it. There's another one over here too, but he ain't as big as this one. Them poor fish like that always stink, man. But look at that sucker. I can't believe he ate first cast. I need to take him over and put him into the real lake. But I guess he's over here eating on these bluegill. This is where he wants to live, I guess. Man, these skinny poor fish like this always stink. That was awesome. Oh, my God. He got hooked on my camera. That's definitely the same fish. He just went right back up in there. How about a little mid-December sight fishing on Lake Chickamauga? How about that? That was pretty daggum cool. I spooked that fish on this side when I walked up, I'm pretty sure. He swam under this culvert to that side, set up on a little current break, and I walked straight there, made a pitch to him, and he bit first cast. Pretty good first cast for a little bank fishing day. I'm actually should be working on my truck, but I was like, sun's actually out for a change. I'm gonna go try to set the hook a couple times. So, fish for about 15 seconds before I have my first bite. So that's pretty daggum good for the day. I'm gonna go to spot number two now. Come on out of that. Say it ain't so. Yes. You don't want to be losing them. Because it's my last one. So any of y'all that know, have watched any of my videos, know that if I'm bank fishing, this pipe is probably going to come into play. So I'm going to walk down there, try to set up on the right cast. I've caught some big fish here. I caught one six pounder, a five, and two or three fours from this one spot. So hopefully this winter time, there'll be a big one sitting right there in that current break in that little channel perfectly. We'll just throw that big rubber jig to it and make him bite. So stay tuned. All right, folks, I've only got about 20 minutes left, and i got to catch two more fish, or at least one. So we're at this little, this is the same creek that I caught that good one out of earlier, but the other one was way on up there some. So I'm going to try to ease down in here, catch us a couple. Only bait I got is this jig, and it doesn't really come through this wood that good, but that's all I got, so we work with what we got.
That was really, really awkward. Only way I can set the hook was that one way. See how I hooked him in the nose right there? I'm going to explain why that happens in a jig video eventually. Nice little fish. They're beautiful. Got a little black spot on his tail. Pretty. Chunky little sucker, man. Awesome. Water came up a little bit and they really got up in here. Nice little fish. Fat. Very, very cool. And a bonus one. Nice little fish. That old brown rubber jig got him good that time. It's a big money baits brown rubber jig. They they really tie the skirt on really really good. This is a this jig is two years old actually, and I mean it looks like there's not a strand missing. They hand tie it with actually some metal like twist. Nice jig. Another good one. Awesome. Boy, they eating that daggum rubber jig up, man. Look at that fish. That fish just looks built to fight right there, don't he? Awesome. Okay guys, so imagine this. I fished all day from the bank and didn't break off a single lure. I think I caught like five fish too. Pretty cool day, pretty good day. I didn't catch any other river. I only caught them out of these little creeks. But you can see this one right here is a small little creek dumping into the Hiawatha up here. But I caught four out of them. I wanted to catch two and caught four, including one pretty good one. Two pretty good ones actually. So this jig is super, super like low maintenance. You know, you put this trailer on here, which is a super chunk. I probably caught 15 or 20 fish on that trailer alone. And this jig, I mean, no problem at all. I finally lost the leg off that trailer to just the last bite I got. But anyways, I had to get out catch me a couple today. Hopefully I got some rods that'll be there when I get home. But you never know. As always, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that sub button. We're trying to grow this channel, We're trying to get to a 1,000. So I appreciate y'all guys subbing, appreciate y'all watching, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.